Chris Paul has been suspended two games as part of the NBA's punishment for that fracas between the Lakers and Rockets. Rajon Rondo suspended three games. Lakers forward Brandon Ingram suspended four games. So we've seen the crime. Now we know of the punishment. Jalen, the NBA handled it. Did they get it right? I think Adam Silver is the best commissioner in professional sports. But I don't think he got this punishment correct. And here's why. Big stage, Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James is playing with their basketball team. All eyes are on the NBA. And what ends up happening is a fracas breaks out like this. And when you're Brandon Ingram, initially he was actually going after one official. Mm -hmm. Then he was going after a second official, which made him push James Harden to get towards that official. Now, we know Rajon Rondo and CP3 have a history with one another, and rightfully so. But when you spit on another person, I would think in that dynamic, you'd probably rather get punched than spit on. Mm -hmm. And then Brandon Ingram returns with the haymaker behind the fracas. In my opinion, Brandon Ingram should have got 15 games. Rajon Rondo should have gotten 10 games. Chris Paul should have gotten the two that he was initially given. Now, looking through my phone and talking to a lot of people in NBA circles, they're going to be conspiracy theorists that say, hey, the league did probably want to bury the Los Angeles Lakers with long suspensions. Here's a storied franchise, an iconic player joined their squad. They're in a tough Western Conference. If you give larger suspensions, say these conspiracy theorists, it may bury a team in that, in that conference and hamper their pen, uh, ability to make the playoffs, which actually that's what a suspension is designed to do create a level of discipline toward crippling a team's chance to win when your players make poor decisions. Yeah, look, I, I, I can't disagree with the word that you're saying, and I hadn't thought of it that way until this point, I will admit, but I think you're exactly right. I will admit to being very surprised when I saw the announcements made yesterday that it was as little comparatively as it was. Chris Paul is the one guy who seems to have gotten shoved and then spat on, and so I understand why his suspension was as little as it was. Mike D'Antoni didn't like him getting even the two games that he got. Well, you're going to get some level of discipline because they don't want you to retaliate, but obviously if somebody spits on you and punch you, you're going to retaliate against somebody that you already have a history with in Rajon Rondo.